Welcome to another episode of Unboxing Time. I'm your host, Mary Jane. Today we're going to be reviewing third party modules for the Red Hydrogen 1. Yay! So let's get into it. Okay, we'll start with the grip frame from ACAW. A K C A W. Comes in a very nice package. Comes in ship, you know, like this. So. And it comes with an invoice. So let's get uh, let's do a brief thing overlay of the invoice. Okay. Order number was triple zero twenty-four. Yay! I was the twenty-fourth person to buy this. Okay, I ordered this back on April twenty-fourth of this year. It was thirty-nine ninety-nine. And the shipping was fifteen dollars. Now I was a little bit hesitant on the shipping price being fifteen dollars when you know, but after seeing the packaging and stuff, this is high quality, high quality pouch, and this is not cheap. And it had you know screen printed their name, and you know down here it says grip frame for red hydrogen one. So yeah, kudos to the packaging and the invoice. The invoice is an invoice with your product is a sign of a quality operation. So here it is. Now let me hold it up to the light. I hope this helps. All right. Anyways. Okay. Hydrogen phone. Okay. So, someone asked me on the forum on Facebook about getting this on. If it fits snug or if it's loose or if, you know. So, anyways, here we go. Let me turn this down so you can see it. That fits pretty snug. There. And you heard that popping noise. It, it, pretty snug getting it in. So. Okay. And then as you see it, makes it look a little bit snazzier. So let's set that down. Well, let's get it in the frame. Okay, so there you go. Hope this helps. Now, someone was asking about fitting in the back pocket. Fitting in the back pocket. So I don't really I, I carry a purse, so it goes in my purse. So well, but I have stuffed this in my back pocket, you know, at work. So let's see. And girls' pockets are usually smaller than men's. And as you can see, that fits in a girl's pocket on jeans. <laughs> I just took something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's okay, that's done. So there you go, grip frame. Now I could just end this video here and call it a day. This is, you know, pushing the time. So now we got this. This module. It's a filter ring. It has magnets. Let's see if you can see it. Oops. There. 
See how it sits? Now you take 37 millimeter filter ring, you screw it down, and then you'll be able to go outside when it's really bright out, and you'll filtering. You get you get a variable ND filtering, you know, so you can go. And then you can buy these lenses. This is a beast. Oops. B script Pro .43x extreme wide angle lens and, and macro lens. I got this off eBay, thirty eight dollars, I think. No, it retails new for three thirty eight something. I bought it. It was only used twice. The guy said, which you know, it could be a lie, but you know, why would? Anyways, so I got it for like twenty some dollars on eBay. And there's, you know, no scratches in the lenses, and they work good. I, I, I've been posting pictures of using the macro. If you go on my Instagram, I'll, which I'll put a link in the description, that you can see some of the photos where I've used the uh, mac, where I've used this lens, and it makes it really makes the colors pop, and it makes the, and gives it more dynamic range, I think, and it makes it just just look at the photographs. Also, check out my. Uh, uh, holographic 3D photos on on hollow picks. The uh, the one of the fern in my exercise room. That one looks really cool. So all right, there you go. And and you know with the grip frame, it feels more natural to hold it like you know get a really good grip. So yeah. But yeah, let's put this baby on. And the magnets do a good job of keeping this connected to the camera with this, you know, with this size of lens. Don't try anything bigger. Get a a, a rig that has you can screw your bigger lenses into that and attach this. But if, like, you say you're gonna go to the zoo or go to a park and it's just you know you and your kids and family. This is the lens. And this is the gear to get. The uh, grip frame will will uh, protect against drops, and then this, you know, it'll give you. Let's see, let's, there you go. So, let's try something. Activating the grip frame does not interfere with uh, the performance of the buttons. Cool. Okay. So when you're in camera mode, it seems that when you push the volume buttons up or down, it takes pictures. Good to know. So there's a little bit of vignette. In, vignette. In, if you can see the edges. See how it's got like a curve? You want to just go like this. Push past to it on zoom, and then you're ready to go. I don't know if you can see that. Picture in picture. Anyways, alright. Let's get out of that. So, there you have it. Red Hydrogen 1 third party modules. Yay! Now, this video is also for the people that are crying over what the phone can't do. But you need to look at what it can do. And it fucking takes amazing photos. Yes, there is going to be an H2 and a Pro version. That's what Jim Gennard said in, the, in that release he did last month. So, give the fine folks at Red Design and Red Hydrogen a chance to you know lock it down and put together a usable product for us so yeah there you go third party modules and really what is a module it's an add-on item to an existing piece of technology or a product and that's what this is this grip that's a module this filtering that's a module the lens technically that's a module so there you go modules New technology, 3D holographic, and amazing photos. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
Oh, and to the guys that keep whining about this, that's not sexy. Girls don't like that. So, there you go. Have a nice day. Mary Jane out.